Good morning, raccoons. You're invited to join us in the pledge. All right. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, have a seat. Have a seat. Even I'm sitting. Listen up. All right, here we go. It is November 6th. And that means it's the start of term two. So I want to talk about a couple things real quick before we move on to our regular announcements. First one is the core value of being committed. Committed. Committed to our goals. We saw that play out a lot over the last couple weeks, whether you were in a sport and an athlete and you were working through all the things that you started doing when you started O Power this summer, training for your sport, starting practices in August, and everything coming to a conclusion. So whether it's swim who... Uh, swam this weekend, or volleyball who played in state, or teams that were eliminated early or didn't even make the playoffs, it doesn't matter. It's about being committed to a goal and following through and doing everything you can to make sure you're successful. So maybe you didn't get that A in English 9 in term 1 and you got a B. What are you going to work towards next? We got a fresh start every four weeks where we can kind of reset on our goals and stay committed to what it is. Earlier this year, you may have set some long-term goals. I want to get into Madison. I want to get honor roll. I want to make varsity. How we work to those goals, it's important that we live in the moment. So what are you doing today to make sure that you're getting on honor roll, to make sure you're getting into that school, to make sure you're getting that scholarship, to make sure you're getting in position to be in building trades three or auto three or some of our top um, programs as you think about your capstone experiences. That's what a new term can do for us. It's not just about new report cards, new grades, scholar athlete, a new season. It's about a chance for us to slow down, reflect, and commit. So as awkward as it is, we're going to just take 20 seconds in silence to reflect around our commitments we made in August and think about where we are in that journey and what we might do next. So here we go. All right. That's commitment. Speaking of commitment, good luck to everybody in the musical. Oh, I don't think you say good luck. Break a leg to everybody in the musical. Don't literally break a leg because we get, yeah, okay. Um, behind the scenes, in front of it, can't wait to support you guys opening night, Friday night. Staff sent you information about a student staff show. Also, accountability, I'll own it. Witness, I ran over a raccoon this weekend. What? <laughs> It, it happened. It happened. And so I'll own that. Um, I, the little guy, there's nothing that could be done. He jumped out. I we all make mistakes. Accountability. But he kept, he kept nine other raccoons safe. Good morning, everyone. We hope you enjoyed your weekend of volleyball. Hopefully you're there and you guys are ready to rock term two. To kick off today, we are excited for Once Upon a Mattress brought to us by OHS Players. The staff and student show is on November 16th at 4 o'clock, but the show is starting on November 10th and it will run through the 18th. Tickets are on sale now at the OAC box office. This is supposed to be a fun and exciting show that you do not want to miss. You also don't want to miss out on the, this year's Mass Singer. The first meeting is tomorrow, tomorrow in room 205. If you are interested or have any questions, please email Jenna Detro at detrogen000 at stew.oasd.org. Don't forget, if you are feeling a need for something delicious to order for something delicious, please go order your chill smoothie. You can order now, and remember, your team, our team, said it was a 10 out of 10. We miss Luke. He's not here anymore. Go get your smoothie now. For anyone interested in the Air Force, we have a great opportunity for you. The Air Force will be here tomorrow in the, in the rec during Pride, or if you are thinking about the Coast Guard, they will be here on Thursday during Pride in the rec. Contact Mrs. Mueller if you are interested in attending either one. In club news this week, Students for Service has a meeting during Pride tomorrow in the rec. All members should attend. For anyone that's interested in competitive trap shooting, you are in luck. There's an informational meeting for you on Friday, November 10th in Mr. Casper's room during Pride. This is for anyone interested with any skill level, so if you're new, get into it. Sign up under Mr. Casper. Couple club meetings coming up. Student Council has a business meeting tomorrow in the Little Theater, and DECA has a meeting on Thursday in the Little Theater, both during Pride. And now let's get into some sports news. Um, without acknowledging, or we'll acknowledge our incredible volleyball team who finished second at state this weekend. 
We are so proud of their hard work, motivation, and dedication to their sport and our school. For those for those of us who went to it, it was a blast watching you play, and we thank to all this, thank, we're thankful for all the staff members who made the fan buses possible. What a great experience! Congratulations, volleyball. Also, we have some soccer all-conference athletes to shout out. Congrats to Nick Amin for making first team, Evan Caulfield for making sef- second team, Timmy Cole for making second team, and Will Frederick for being an honorable mention. Congratulations, guys. And winter sports start today. Girls basketball tryouts are today and tomorrow starting at 3 o'clock in the field house. Also, Boys basketball, which starts next Monday, is looking for a team manager. You can contact Coach Benish or Coach Fisher with their contact information on the screen if you are interested. The season starts next Monday, like I said. We are also very excited to announce that we have an athletic signing this Thursday during lunch in the field house. Congratulations to all of our um, probably fall athletes that are signing. Up next, we have Braden with this week's weather. All right, so looking at the weather this week, this week's weather looks to be quite a difference from what we saw last week. So no snow in the forecast this week, whether you see that as good or bad. But <laughs> So today, warm but breezy conditions with a high of 64 degrees and partly cloudy skies. As the day progresses, we will see a clearing in the clouds and some peaks of sunshine. Tomorrow, 50 degrees and mostly cloudy skies. And then Wednesday, increasing rain chances with a high of 50 degrees. Don't expect Wednesday to be a complete uh, washout, just some increased chances of some scattered rain showers. Then Thursday, 48 degrees and partly cloudy skies. And Friday, a little cooler with a high of 45 degrees and mostly sunny skies. Thank you for this week's weather, Braden. Do not forget to follow us on YouTube at OHS Digital Productions and Instagram at OHS underscore RCC. And as always, share your news with our team at rcc at osd.org. And here we have Mr. Curtis with the joke of the day. Not bad for a Monday, but I know we had exams last week. So how can you tell if a shop is new? Like a store, it's new. How can you tell if the shop is new? I don't know. That the best day of your life, raccoons. <laughs>